The best chest exercises. This video is one of the best videos you will ever watch in your life to build a perfect chest in simple and easy ways for everyone. The first exercise, dumbbell low fly, low cable, chest fly, targets the upper part of the chest. Do three sets, eight to 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. Remember to focus on proper form and mind muscle connection to maximize chest activation and growth. Start with lighter weights and gradually increase the resistance over time. The second exercise, dumbbell chest press, targets the middle chest, do three sets, eight to 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. Focus on consciously contracting your chest muscles during each rep. Visualize the pectoralis major muscle in action as you press or press the weight. This increased mind-muscle connection can increase muscle fiber recruitment. The third exercise, dumbbell inclined chest press plus. Reverse inclined press targets the upper part of the chest. Do three sets, eight to 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. The chest or pectoralis major is a large fan-shaped muscle that extends to the front of the upper body it is the primary driver of horizontal adduction, bringing the arms together in front of the body and flexion of the shoulder joint. The pectoralis minor is a smaller muscle located below the pectoralis major and assists in shoulder movement. This is not a training program. All you have to do is choose only six exercises, two for the upper chest, two for the middle chest, and two for the lower chest. The fourth exercise, Dumbbell lying hammer plus dumbbell reverse bench press targets the middle chest. Do three sets, eight to 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. Remember, proper form and mind muscle connection are key to maximum chest activation and growth. Start light, focus on the contraction, then gradually increase the weight over time. The fifth exercise, incline dumbbell fly, targets the upper chest. Do three sets, eight to 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. Adjust the seat to an inclination angle of 30 to 45 degrees. Keep your abdominal muscles engaged and avoid overarching your back. Maintain a slight angle in the elbows throughout the movement. Focus on contracting the chest at the top of the movement. Start with a light weight and gradually increase the load over time. The sixth exercise, decline dumbbell fly, targets the lower chest, do three sets, eight, 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. Adjust the seat to a lower angle of about 15 to 30 degrees. Sit on the low bench and hold a dumbbell in each hand. Stand briefly at the bottom of the movement. Then squeeze your lower chest muscles to return the dumbbells to the starting position. Focus on fully contracting your lower chest muscles pectoralis minor, as you bring the weights back together. The seventh exercise, dumbbell pull over, target chest, targets the entire chest, do three sets, eight to 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. Begin the movement by slowly lowering the dumbbells behind your head, keeping your arms extended. Lower the dumbbells until you feel a strong stretch in your chest and shoulder muscles. At the bottom of the movement, keep the dumbbells behind your head with your arms extended. Squeeze your chest muscles to raise the dumbbells back to the starting position above your chest. Focus on the strong contraction of your chest muscles as you return the dumbbells to the original position. The eighth exercise, decline dumbbell bench press, targets the lower chest, do three sets, eight to 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. Begin the movement by slowly lowering the dumbbells toward your chest, keeping your arms straight. When the dumbbells reach your chest, make sure your elbows are pointing down at a 45 degree angle. Avoid making hasty movements or using momentum. Maintain control throughout the movement. This part is intended for people who only exercise with dumbbells at home. The first exercise, standing dumbbell chest fly, targets the upper chest, do three sets, 
8 to 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. Stand up straight with your feet shoulder width apart. Hold a dumbbell in each hand next to your sides. Begin the movement by symmetrically raising the dumbbells to shoulder level or higher. Keep your torso stable and knees slightly bent throughout the movement. The second exercise, dumbbell floor press, targets the middle chest. Do three sets, eight, 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. Sit on the floor with your legs extended in front of you, holding a dumbbell in each hand next to your shoulders. Begin the movement by pushing the dumbbells up until your arms are fully extended. Keep your head and back stable on the floor throughout the movement. The third exercise, dumbbell close grip press, using single dumbbells, targets the lower chest. Do three sets, eight to 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. Hold one dumbbell in both hands with the hands close together like this. Begin the movement by pushing the dumbbell up forcefully until your arm is fully extended. Focus on tightening and contracting your triceps as you push the dumbbells. Keep the elbow locked close to the body throughout the movement. The fourth exercise, dumbbell. Lying on floor hammer targets the middle chest. Do three sets, eight, 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. Use an appropriate weight that you can control well. Remember to keep your torso and pelvis stable throughout the exercise. The fifth exercise, dumbbell, pronated grip, dumbbell fly, targets the upper chest. Do three sets, eight, 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. Sit on the floor with your legs extended in front of you. Hold a dumbbell in each hand in the same way. Use an appropriate weight that you can control well. Focus on contracting the chest at the top of the movement. Also focus on the strong contraction of the chest muscles while returning the dumbbells to the original position. Keep the elbow locked like this throughout the movement. The sixth exercise, dumbbell around pullover, targets the entire chest. Do three sets, eight, 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. Use an appropriate weight that you can control well. And here we have reached the end of the video. If you have any questions, also, if you need a nutritional program and a training program tailored for you to reach your goal as soon as possible, leave a comment or contact us through the means of communication available on the YouTube page to find out the details. Always remember, I am here to help everyone.